The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the process of protein synthesis, which is a central concept within the study of biology. Believe it or not, building a protein within a cell is similar to the process of cooking an old family recipe. Let's find out how. Many of our old family recipes may be found in cookbooks. These contain recipes that have been passed down from generation to generation. We can compare these cookbooks to your own chromosomes. These are also passed down from generation to generation and are unique to you, just as recipes are sometimes unique to different families. If we open up those cookbooks, we'll find the locations of the recipes. Every page of a cookbook contains a recipe, or at least one if not more. On our chromosomes, instead of separate written recipes, we have separate genes that are all connected along the chromosome, just like the pages bound within the cookbook. While each recipe in a cookbook tells us how to create some sort of food dish, every gene along a chromosome is the directions for how a cell can create a complex protein. Family recipes are very precious to many and are sometimes even kept secret or at least closely guarded and protected. Well, so is your DNA. It is a precious substance containing important information that must be closely protected, usually within the nucleus of your cells. Rather than risk damaging this precious information when we want to use it, it has to be copied. Copying the information allows us to protect the originals. For a recipe, you may copy it down onto a recipe card. Within a cell, another molecule is used to create a copy of the DNA. That copy is called messenger RNA, and the process of making a copy is called transcription. Once a copy has been created, it is time to start cooking. For some recipes, we may use the stove and some pots and pans to build our meals. Within a cell, we have complex structures called ribosomes, which are the location for building the proteins. While a variety of ingredients are needed to follow a particular recipe, in order to create a protein, we use ingredients called amino acids. These are sometimes called the building blocks of proteins. Just as a family recipe may require the help of other family members to collect the ingredients, our cells need assistance too. The assistant for protein synthesis is called transfer RNA. This is a molecule that carries the ingredients of protein synthesis, the amino acids. Just as a child may carry ingredients to a parent to help follow a recipe, transfer RNA carries specific amino acids needed to build the protein. Once all of the directions have been followed, we finally get our final product from the recipe. For protein synthesis, that final product is an actual protein made of many amino acids combined together in a specific shape. Let's review the basics right now. To build a protein, we need a recipe, and our genes are our recipes. Rather than risk damaging our original genes in this complex process, we must copy the genes by creating messenger RNA. That recipe will tell us how to put the ingredients together, and for a protein, those ingredients are called amino acids. Those ingredients, or amino acids, are carried around by assistants called transfer RNA. Everything gets assembled at the ribosome. And we finally get our final dish, the protein. So, if you can follow a simple recipe, then you know how to build a protein.